This melt-up has been slow and steady. Some might even call it boring. But as Mike Santoli tells us, some want to know if this is the calm before another market storm. The stock market's recent move to record highs has been unusually subdued. By some measures, the past month has seen the calmest market in 75 years. That's based on the uncommonly narrow trading range. In all but two days in the past four weeks, the S&P 500 index has gained or lost less than half a percent. And this quiet pattern is not simply a matter of late summer doldrums. August, in fact, often sees erratic trading and has been among the weakest months for stocks in recent years. So what explains the surprising lack of volatility now? Several forces have turned in the market's favor at once. Traders saw the brief market sell-off after the vote by the UK in June to leave the European Union as overdone and picked up beaten down stocks. Around the same time, U.S. economic data brightened considerably and companies began surpassing profit forecasts, even as investors gained confidence that the Federal Reserve would not lift interest rates again soon. Yields on government bonds, meantime, have remained near record lows, helping to support all financial markets. The resulting slow-motion rally has confounded many forecasts of continued unsettled markets following the sharp wintertime downturn. The question now is whether this lull is simply the calm before another market storm. The odds do seem to favor some pickup in volatility into September, which even in strong markets has often been a time for Wall Street dips and dives. And incoming data could easily upset the tight consensus about future Fed moves or the strength of the U.S. consumer. But in itself, history says a low drama market is not necessarily something to be feared. Perhaps investors should just try to enjoy the quiet while it lasts. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mike Santoli at the New York Stock Exchange.